previously we relied on a lot of uh, handmade materials. Um, now that we can do it digitally, so we just um, show the pictures and the videos in the screen. So that's been very helpful. So that has been very um, helpful because since we can show pictures digitally, um, we, we, we used to do a lot of cutting, we used to do a lot of um, visuals that we need to cut and paste. And then, of course, with such a big class, we need to make it bigger. For example, um, experiments. So sometimes, uh, previously, we would you know, prepare all those materials and also the sample. But now, since we can show it through the video and pause the video and write on the IFP, we can simply you know, uh, show a video, a single video, and then we can have the kids identify the materials that they need. And then, um, then they're familiar with the process. So once we give them the materials, they already know it. So those are one of the uh, materials that we prepare. Sometimes we do a screenshot of it. Like say, for example, a while ago, the kids were able to share their ideas. So um, after writing that down, we press the um, screenshot and save it. And then later on, we can get it. And then we put it on Seesaw for the parents to see. So it's where we put in activities for the kids or we show pictures and videos for the parents to see. Particularly in kinder, it's to let the parents know that these are the activities being done in school. And to also, it has a messaging feature where we can instantly connect with the parents and send messages. A uh, great feature, um, especially nowadays, you know, with how things are with the pandemic. Um, it's very comforting to know that the children can use it with, with us, the adults, not having to worry about passing on the germs or so. Oh, we had a discussion about that uh, recently because um, uh, definitely it, it, it's since it's eye-catching um, the children are um, attentive so it gets their attention so but now once they answer we can write it down or better yet they can write it down you know or they can show us their, their understanding of the lesson uh, by writing things down so um, that is a very good um, uh, change that we, we noted so hmm, yes so the engagement and the participation yes um, having that IFP in the classroom we just simply project it in the room for everyone to, to look at that piece of document in the on the screen on IFP so that we can all um, be in sync as to where where we're editing or what we're talking about all at the same time we were given links on how to use it. Um, it still takes a bit of time for teachers actually using it in the class. So we've gotten better using it. Um, and sometimes, of course, it's still, you know, it's still technology. It's engaging for them. Um, learning somehow is uh, better. Um, also because we are able to show a lot more videos to them so they can understand it better as well instead of just us doing all the talking and all the explanation. So that is a great advantage. So in a way, um, I believe that contributes to their understanding. I would strongly recommend using um, an IFP instead of the usual projector because it allows a lot of, um, it has more features, that's for one. Um, the quality of the pictures and videos are, of course, um, more, uh, are better. Um, so I think it's worth the try for those who want to um, explore it, you know, try it a couple of times. And I th um, it has its features that I think for learning would be very, beneficial for both the teachers and the children.